and welcome back to my channel. I am forever Mimi coming to you because I am finna make me a smoothie with my ninja. Okay? Yes, Lord. So today I will be making me a blueberry smoothie and I will be using some blueberries, banana, some cinnamon, a piece of ginger, I'm going to cut a piece of ginger, and some uh, uh, kettle seeds. You can use any kind. I guess you can use cashews, whatever. Um, I'm going to use some flax seeds. And my liquid is going to be water, okay? So that's pretty much all I'm going to um, use for my water. So I'm going to go ahead on and take this off. Here it is. I'm going to put, I think I'm going to, I don't want to fill it all the way up. I'm going to just do eight for now, okay? Okay. Okay, here's eight ounces of water, okay? Y'all see that? Right here. The eight ounces. Okay. I'm going to do, you could just do just a handful, however you want your uh, blueberries. I don't know how you want your berries, but me, I just put just a, that'll probably be maybe about a half right there, okay? I'm going to use my banana. I break it up small because I know this is a small little cup. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead on and put my kettle seeds in here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. That's a handful. Okay. All right. Um, some cinnamon. Just a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to do some flax seeds. So when I do my smoothies, I try to get at least everything in my smoothie. You know, my protein, my fiber, my, you know, just try to get a little bit of everything in your smoothie. So now I'm getting ready to cut me a small piece of ginger. You guys can see me down here, but I'm gonna cut a small piece of ginger, and you can you you can leave your you can leave the skin the what's your name on here if you want, or you can cut it, or you can cut it. I'm just gonna use that right here. Put that in there. Move everything to the side here. All right, and put this on. Okay, and I'm going to flip this and. That look like a little, it's a little watery, y'all. No. Okay. Well, let me let me do it. One, let me go ahead on and blend it a little bit more. All right. Now that looks. Yeah, that looks all right. Okay, we're going to take this off. I'm going to let y'all see it. See, it's a little watery. 
Maybe I put too much water in it. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna add a. Well, I'm gonna add an ice cube. Get one ice cube. Okay. Cause it's not really cold. Okay. Okay. So this is my breakfast, y'all. This gonna be my breakfast for the morning. I don't think I really need uh nothing else. Oh, I need to get a bigger straw. I know I got some big straw, some longer straws. I'm sorry, I didn't say bigger straw, longer straw. Okay, we gonna taste this. I taste everything in here, y'all. I taste the ginger. The berries, the banana, the cinnamon, the I, I taste everything. Yes, I taste it. So this is probably gonna be one of my go-tos right here. So if you like this breakfast of the morning, thumbs it up, like, comment, come on over and join me, and I will see you all on another video. community is remembering a man who was an institution in the area, Joe Thomas. He passed away at the start of the new year. Thomas opened Joe's Barbershop a half a century ago. Our Xavier Walton looks at the legacy he leaves behind. <laughs> what you have Joe's Barbershop is bigger and better than any haircut money could buy. Look here. Oh, Look here. <laughs> And Joe's, you get a family. My dad is Joe. And my grandfather is Joe. Uh, yeah, and my grandmother is Joe. And she's Norma Joe. Every single one of us was reared in this barbershop right here. Ever since I was walking, ever since I was, since I was little, two and three years old, I've been in this barbershop. That's Jamel. Joe was... A papa. pictures and acres home uh, that too will be the more truly meant, very much remembered, and, and touched, <laughs> literally. He touched a lot of people's lives as well as their heads. Joe's no longer here, but his barber shop. It Joe's. You know, we will keep these doors open as long as we can. His legacy. He's an example. He's a legend. You know, he was a Christian man. Will live on for generations to come. It's not going to our Joe's barbershop will be here. Joe Thomas was 94 years old. His family is going to continue celebrating his life and his legacy this upcoming weekend. It's Xavier Walton, KHOU 11 News. Oh, what a lovely family. All right, let's get back to the weather now, and it's a lovely day, but uh, more changes today. We transition back to the 60s tomorrow. Check out your Friday morning low temperatures in the 30s.
30s and 40s. Weekend, temperatures stay mild. We're in the 70s. Even overnight lows are in the 50s and 60s. But it's the rain. And the reason why we have a cold front that's going to swing through tomorrow, that's going to build back in as a warm front. And that's what's going to keep our temperatures mild but introduce that rain chance. So, Sherman, per the usual, just all the things. You know, you need a coat, then you need an umbrella, and then maybe some flip-flops. Keep it in the back of the car. <laughs> and I definitely need a big bottle of hairspray. All right, thank true. you. <laughs> Time now to celebrate you and all your big day. So let's get started with little Adia. She is celebrating her 10th birthday. Your family loves you very much. Very grown-up pose for a 10-year-old. Happy birthday to Simon. He is turning 64 years old and hanging out with his beautiful little granddaughter. Look at that. This message from your daughter. Happy birthday, Simon. And happy 25th birthday to Tyler Ross. Your parents are very proud of you. Obviously a Houston Astros fan. Happy quarter century. Tyler, if you or a loved one are celebrating something special, let us join in on the fun. Send us a text to 713-526-1111. Now, lunchtime. Lunchtime special is what I call it. So today I have, I'm having uh, the healthy choice um, chicken noodle soup. Here it is right here with some parsley flakes on it. I got me a sandwich with, um, oh, I can't even think of the name of the um, lunch meat, and some cheese and a pickle, mustard and mayonnaise, my pears, my pineapple juice. This is my lunchtime special of the day. If you like this lunchtime special of the day, Thumbs it up, like, comment, come on over and join me, and I will see you all on another video.